Hey guys, the optic gracing this piece of beat up black cardboard today is the new Romeo 4 XT Pro. This is an updated and improved version of the Romeo 4T that I reviewed a while back along with the Romeo 8T. This version fixes the problems I had with the 4T, it drops some of the features that I don't care about, and the end result is probably the best red dot currently on the market. I'm sure that sounds like a pretty outrageous claim, but remember we are considering the total package here. So that means weight, features, price point, and all the things you expect to be able to do with a red dot. So that means night vision and magnifier performance are very important. To quickly recap the Romeo 4T, it's a pretty good optic, but it's also one of the oldest ones in SIG's inventory. Prior to the release of the 4XT Pro, the Romeo 4T was SIG's highest end micro red dot. The 4T and the 8T both have SIG's multiple reticle system, so you've got a 2 MOA center dot with the option of a larger segmented circle around the outside, as well as a series of cascading drop dots down below the main one. The issues that I had with the 4T was that the glass had a pretty dark blue tint to it, which is not a great feature when you're trying to use it with a magnifier, and the night vision performance was pretty bad. Light transmission was really no better than the Romeo 5, whereas the Romeo 8T has essentially industry-leading night vision passive aiming performance, basically on par with an EOTech despite not being a holographic, the 4T lagged pretty far behind. One of the biggest selling points of the 4XT Pro is that it uses the same glass coatings as the Romeo 8T and therefore should have very similar night vision performance, significantly better than the old 4T. This is where things get a little bit murky though, because I've been told by multiple people, including some people who work for SIG Electro Optics, that the Romeo 4T was updated at some point in its life to have better glass clarity and coatings. In theory, the current production version of the Romeo 4T doesn't have the same dark blue tint and has way better night vision performance than the version that I reviewed. The problem is, I don't know how you're supposed to get one. I bought my Romeo 4T after the improvements were supposed to have been implemented. I managed to break my 4T and when I sent it back to SIG, they replaced it with a newer one which also should have been post-update. Even the serial number of both of my Romeo 4Ts indicated that they should have had the generational improvements. The same goes, I think, for c -Dews, who did a review of the Romeo 4T. His also had the tint, probably also had the poor night vision performance, and in theory, it should have been after the updates were already implemented. So while I don't doubt that there are some 4Ts out there with the better glass clarity and coatings, I'm not really sure how you're supposed to actually get one. And since the 4 XT Pro is pretty much a straight-up improvement over the 4T, you might as well just get this one, because there's no such thing as a 4 XT Pro that doesn't have the excellent glass clarity and coatings. So I guess we kind of skipped ahead and spoiled the night vision part of this review, but let's continue on with the optic itself. The Romeo 4 XT Pro is powered by a single AAA battery instead of a CR2032 like the Romeo 4T. That's a change I really don't care about for reasons that I've talked about already at length. You should never, under any circumstances, use an alkaline battery in an optic, particularly not an expensive one. Alkaline batteries don't like getting cold, they don't like getting hot, they don't last very long, and they're prone to leaking and destroying your expensive electronics. The Romeo 4T was rated at, I think, 100,000 hours of battery life. That may have been in conjunction with the solar panel. The Romeo 4 XT Pro drops the solar panel backup system from the 4T, which is good. I think that's a system that just adds complexity and cost and doesn't really give you any real-world benefit. Now that the top of the optic is unoccupied by a solar panel, the buttons have been relocated to the top. They won't accidentally get activated if you bump the rifle against your gear. The 4XT Pro also adds a night vision button so you can quickly switch between the daylight and night vision range of brightness settings. The 4XT Pro, like the 4T, comes with a whole bunch of goodies in the box, flip caps, kill flashes, sacrificial lenses, multiple mount heights, etc. The mounts are really good, they are thumb screw, not QD mounts, which means they are extremely robust and a lot more solid. I generally don't think red dots need to be QD, although it does help, I guess, if you're using a super tall mount that doesn't co-witness with your iron sights, if you're the type of person who likes to run iron sights in conjunction with a red dot that has a battery life of 100,000 hours. Since SIG seems to be committed to including a whole bunch of stuff in these boxes, I would kind of like them to include an even taller riser option, like a 1.93 NV height riser. That seems like it'd be a nice value added feature, and I would happily trade the kill flash and flip cap and sacrificial lens stuff for just that extra spacer. The 4XT Pro is still compatible with Aimpoint micro style mounts, so the sky's the limit, or the CAC skyscraper is the limit as far as aftermarket options go. But I do have to point out that the Romeo 4 on an aftermarket riser does look a little weird. Okay, let's talk about night vision performance. That is the main reason you would want to buy a 4XT Pro over a cheaper red dot or an older 4T. Happily, I can report that the 4XT Pro has phenomenal night vision performance, extremely good light transmission and pretty good brightness settings, as well as the addition of that night vision button. 
we can compare the 4 XT Pro to three different optics. First, the Aimpoint T2. The Aimpoint T2 has excellent light transmission for a micro red dot, and that makes it a very good overall choice if you don't want to prioritize passive aiming, but you still want to be capable of it. If there's a difference in light transmission between the Aimpoint T2 and the 4 XT Pro, I can't tell. Comparing them side by side, they seem to perform exactly the same to my eyes. The brightness settings are spaced similarly as well. The T2 does have four night vision settings, I believe, whereas the 4XT Pro, in theory, only has two, same as the Romeo 8T. However, the lowest two daylight settings of the 4XT Pro and the Romeo 8T are perfectly serviceable for use in brighter nighttime environments. So the light transmission and clarity of the 4XT Pro is excellent, and the brightness settings are well spaced and adequate for most lighting conditions. If we compare the 4XT Pro to the Romeo 8T, then it's not quite as impressive. These optics may have the same glass coatings, but the window size of the 8T is substantially larger and it seems to make a big difference. If the only thing you care about in an optic is passive aiming night vision performance, then the Romeo 8T is still better. And finally, we can compare the 4XT Pro to an EOTech EXPS3. If you remember in previous videos, we compared the Romeo 8T and the EOTech EXPS3. The 8T may in fact have ever so slightly better light transmission than an EOTech, but the EOTech still wins in terms of passive aiming performance because of two features. One of them is the night vision button that quickly switches between night vision and daylight modes, and the other is the granularity of the adjustments. A 3 series EOTech has 20 daylight settings and 10 night vision settings, and the night vision button switches quickly between the two modes, and most crucially serves as a lockout. When you have the EXPS3 in night vision mode, you cannot increase the brightness into daylight mode no matter how many times you press the up button, and vice versa in daylight mode. The night vision button on the 4XT Pro is not nearly that sophisticated. If you're in daylight mode and you press the night vision button, it takes you immediately into the second lowest night vision mode. And if you're in night vision mode and press the daylight button, it takes you immediately into the second brightest daylight mode. It's a bit of a jarring shift and it lacks the memory feature of the EOTech, which remembers what mode you were in before you switched. And also it doesn't serve as a lockout like the button does on an EOTech. So once again, the feature set of the EOTech EXPS3 is kind of hard to beat. It's just a very mature product at this point. But at the end of the day, remember that not everything is about night vision. I know, you wouldn't believe it to watch this channel, but it's true. In my estimation, the Romeo 4 XT Pro is good enough at night vision performance, and it's also a well-rounded red dot in other ways. Like the 4T and the 8T, this is a good candidate for pairing with a magnifier. The emitter placement on the 4T, 8T, and 4 XT Pro is not diagonal, like an aim point, and that seems to make the dots a lot clearer when magnified. The reticle design probably also helps, circle dots tend to be a little crisper than regular dots, and also SIG uses point source emitter technology, which is part of how they get their dots so clean and their efficiency so good. The ballistic circle reticle option pairs well with a magnifier to give you some reference points or holds for your chosen load, although you are going to have to do a little bit of tinkering with your chronograph and see if you can get yourself a bootleg copy of Straylock Pro since they got sanctioned, or do it the old-fashioned way by running the numbers through the Hornady ballistic calculator like a hundred times. The 4XT Pro is also a pretty solid value. This is a fairly expensive red dot. I bought this one directly from SIG for, I think, 580 bucks. That was the only place I could find it in stock at the time. I think it's a little more widely available now and probably slightly cheaper than that. Also, buying things directly from SIG's website is an exercise in patience. 580 bucks puts the SIG 4XT Pro in kind of the middle of the pack in terms of cost. Not only is it cheaper than an Aimpoint T2, but it comes complete for that price, with mounts and all the weird little goodies that you probably don't want anyway, but hey, at least they're fun to play with. If you're the sort of person who insists on a 1.93 or taller red dot mount, then the included mounts are not really going to be of value to you. If you're like me and you don't mind passive aiming through a lower one-third optic, then they're pretty good. You do not have to replace these mounts in my opinion, they're very robust. So what did we learn here today? The Romeo 4 XT Pro is not the most impressive or sexiest red dot on the market, but it does everything very well. Solid mount and design, good magnifier performance, good night vision performance, it uses the AAA battery people like for some reason, and it doesn't waste your time or money with a solar panel gimmick. Passive aiming with night vision is a nice capability to have, but I think the trade-offs between the 4 XT Pro and something like an EOTech EXPS3 or the larger Romeo 8T is worth it. That's a judgment call for you to make, though. Is doubling the weight and substantially increasing the bulk worth that last 5-10% to 10 of night vision passive aiming performance? That's a question each man must answer for himself. Okay, thank you guys very much for watching. If you like this channel, please subscribe, and if you really like this channel, you can support me directly via Subscribestar, link in the video description. 
Subscribe Star subscribers get access to some bonus content, but mostly they're doing it for altruism because they're just such good people at heart. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below, and I will see you guys next time. I am judging you for the way you're sleeping right now. Sorry.